it's the crypto lightsaber back with another video and today i want to talk to you about mask network all right guys this is a fairly new altcoin that won't be on many people's radar recently listed on both coinbase and binance all right guys binance listing was about the fifth of uh sorry the fifth month of this year so around may so approximately three months ago and Coinbase, I think it was about a month or two ago, it listed on there as well. Maybe about a month, okay? Maybe not even two months ago. All right, guys? So this could be a bullish token, especially if people discover the low market cap. All right, guys? The market cap is under, well, it was under 100 million. It's now over 100 million, 102 million. But that's still fairly low in market cap if we look at what this coin is, what it does, and the potential. And the fact that it's on Coinbase and Binance, that is a very low market cap token so the chart structure is looking bullish all right guys as you can see we have this kind of rounding bottom okay guys so it could be a very good mid-term hold in my opinion i am keeping a very close eye on this and i do have a position on this and uh, right now you can see it is moving to the upside it's just more or less got a breakout of this level breakout and as we can see we're getting a bit of follow through with some nice volume to the upside so a lot of people will see that and I believe it is in the, amongst the top performers at the moment on Binance. Okay, guys, you can see it at the top right here. Okay, guys, so a lot of people are going to see that. And I would expect a lot more money to come into this. You can see it's got about 37 million in volume on a 24-hour. Okay, guys, in USDT. And uh, 6.592 million in volume on Mask right there, guys. So I think that is uh, potentially bullish for this token uh, we looked at the market cap with a circulating supply of only 16 million with a total supply of 100 million okay guys so i'm not sure what the token distribution is saying and you know whether more coins are going to get released to the market in the short term obviously so that looks good 24 hour trading volume 130 million that definitely looks good and the market cap like i said 102 just under 103 million now what is mask network okay guys so this is about privacy it enables you to send encrypted messages uh, through Twitter and Facebook. All right, guys? So it is actually integrated with Twitter and Facebook already, which I think is super bullish. I'm trying to find where it actually says it because I did read it somewhere. Okay, guys, you can actually get a wallet uh, and uh, do a download on Chrome or iOS. All right, guys, sorry, on, uh, for Chrome, iOS, and Android and um uh, uh, you can encrypt your posts and chats on social networks and allow only your friends to decrypt. All right, guys. So obviously, there's a certain way that it works. You can download this product now and start using it. Um, you can install it onto your Google Chrome browser if you want to do it there. Okay, guys. And then you, you got to verify your account ownership and then you can start using it. All right, guys. So let's say, for example, you wanted to send somebody your, your, your Bitcoin or Ethereum address on Twitter. Uh, you can encrypt it by using this, okay, guys? So, obviously, it gives you the freedom of choice whether you want to encrypt a message so that nobody else can see it or whether, you you know, you just want to send it in the usual fashion and allow everybody to see it as a public message, okay, guys? So, um, yeah, I think that it's definitely got a use case and, you know, it's a working product. You, like, you can start using it right now. They've got a new feature, um, which is an ITO, okay, an initial twitter offering okay it says mask network has long been committed to bringing different decentralized applications to social networks like twitter and facebook in ito and in an initial twitter offering we hope that users can directly participate in the public issuance of tokens on twitter this will be a brand new attempt okay guys so obviously people can launch new tokens and do it through twitter okay and somehow um you know you can you can buy it through twitter or something like that um there's lots of information here about the ito function all right guys some of which i will need to do a little bit more of a read on so that will be interesting for me to uh to check that out and find out exactly uh what the crack is with that as you can see they've been featured on coindesk coin telegraph and so on partners and supporters they got rweave.org you got hashkey maker binance alameda research which is a very popular one gitcoin Okay, guys, so I'm not sure if they got a Gitcoin grant for this, but um, I'd assume so if, if Gitcoin are a partner and supporter. And some other brands here of who uh, I don't know. Okay, guys, but it's good to see that they've got supporters. All right, guys, and, and, and you know, we know that they are uh, supported by Coinbase because they are now actually on Coinbase as well. 
Red packets. Now, if you don't know what red packets are, they're sort of like um, uh, you can normally get them on the test net, and it's basically you 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 put your details in, and it enables you to collect payment. All right, guys, I have received the red packet before. That's the only reason I know what it is. But they've got some information about red uh, red packets and how to create a wallet and and connect your wallet uh, to, to send a red packet and all that sort of stuff. And so a red packet is like, it's, it's an encrypted uh, uh, post with payment attached to it. All right, guys? So, I mean, this is very centered on privacy and payments by the, by the looks of it. Uh, you've got trade and swaps. Uh, you can view crypto price charts and all that sort of stuff. And I'm guessing they're, they're, they're building their own decentralized exchange, I would assume. And um, I'm not sure if it's actually built already, but I can't find anything that will take you to it here on the website. Or maybe it's in the app. I don't actually know. So you can install it right here and that will go straight into your browser. Or you can go on your phone, like I said. You can do it on your iOS or your Android devices. So you can check out their code if you do know how to read code. For me, personally, I mean... If they're listing on Binance, especially on Coinbase, um, I'm going to assume that it's been vetted to the fullest and, you know, they've been through much scrutiny in terms of code. Um, and I'm going to guess everything checks out. So it's not something that I would worry about. It's something about making your own memes and all that sort of stuff here. We've got the mask logo on the Mona Lisa, on the Statue of Liberty and stuff like that. So I guess they're trying to add that fun aspect to it as well. Uh, frequently asked questions of course we've been through some of them but you can do your own research right here on the website but like i said guys if we go back to the chart this is looking very bullish to me uh, hopefully uh, we don't get a pullback from here uh, hopefully we can see a massive little run up to the upside it only needs to go up to about 12 dollars for you to make 100 percent if you do get into this token now and of course if it does go to about 12 dollars it's probably going to go a lot higher than that because it would have breached into price discovery okay guys Love the look of these rounded bottoms. You never know, you might get like a cup and a handle, massive cup and a handle formation. All right, guys. And, and of course, uh, we do have to consider the fact that Bitcoin is doing its thing also. Bitcoin is pulling back right now on the one daily. Okay, guys. And you could probably expect some buyers to come in down here around 35, 36K. That will be expected because... Um, Obviously, uh, we can see it's made a higher high, broke out of here, and we were just expected to put in, put in a higher low. Uh, you got to buy the fear on this one. All right, guys. Um, I mean, it's been going down, uh, pulling back since kind of Sunday evening. All right, guys. So you would expect some sort of turnaround midweek, and we are approaching the midweek right about now. All right, guys. So, you know, sometime over the next 24 hours, potentially, I would expect to see some sort of uh, price action in the other direction for Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, that is yet to be seen. Um, if this did fully retrace all the way back down and come back, back down through this falling wedge, then I would say that was pretty bearish for Bitcoin and it's probably going to fall a bit further. But a lot of people are expecting some major upside for this. A lot of people are hoping that this is the, uh, the return to the upside. But as you can see, clearly hit this point of resistance right here, which was the only clear point of resistance right there. Okay, guys, and it's got rejected from there perfectly. So if it does come back up here, it's probably going to break uh, through the 42K mark. And then you'll see a lot of volume, potentially a lot of volume coming through and pushing that to the upside. That's going to help tokens like Mask and, um, you know, various altcoins. All right, guys, um, USDT pairs, that is not BTC pairs. And of course, we could potentially see an alt season with Bitcoin dominance falling. All right, guys, this is the uh, Bitcoin dominance chart. There is an ascending wedge right here, which you can see. Let's just draw it like that. Okay, guys. Um, in fact, let's just put the other line in. Ascending wedge, which it has, which is a bearish pattern, and it has kind of broken to the downside at the, at the time of recording. All right, guys. So, you know, if that pops back up into there, then obviously Bitcoin dominance should recover. But I would expect some more downside from Bitcoin potentially. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we are expecting a massive... Uh, four in bitcoin dominance all right guys if we do a measured move you just go say it was from there to about there all right guys let's just adjust that so basically measured move is the bottom of this target right here around 39 on the bitcoin dominance chart 
All right, guys, so that is a potential for that. Obviously, it's not going to happen overnight, but as that falls, that could bring some, you know, some some very bullish gains into the altcoins in a very short to midterm. Okay, guys, it's not going to be a super cycle alt season, of course, but um, yeah, that would. I mean, we 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 have basically seen mate, a little bit of an alt season to be honest, because the alts have been, you know, some of them have been going absolutely crazy, a hundred percent, up even up to three, four hundred percent. I mean, I looked at Luna. Yesterday, Luna's gone absolutely crazy. Um, Axie Infinity, you know, NFTs, all that sort of stuff. It's about being in the right coin sometimes, all right, guys? Uh, we took some losses along the way uh, with this massive pullback, all right, guys? But um, hopefully we can, we can recover those gains in the next leg of the bull cycle, all right, guys? So that is Mask Network. Uh, just one more thing. We can see that volume is coming in. So that is looking very lovely. Hopefully we can get some more, a lot more volume and that, get that big push to the upside on Mask Network. All right, guys. So without any further ado, that is the end of the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Leave a like and a comment down below. That helps with the algorithm. YouTube will then begin to recommend my videos to more people so we can all take advantage of these beautiful charts. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.